Hello, and welcome to the Stetson University Banner Web Training Tutorial. In this tutorial, we will discuss how to log in to your timesheet through Banner. Once you have logged into mystetson.edu, you will see an Employees tab. Click the Employees tab and you will see your timesheet underneath Employee Services. Click your timesheet and you will be provided with your title and department as well as a pay period and status of your position. Once you have selected your position, please note the pay period and status. The first time accessing Banner, you will see that this will say Not Started. For the purposes of this tutorial, I will go ahead and start in June. When you are ready, access your timesheet. Here you will see a description of your job as well as your timesheet. You will see your title and number, department and number, your timesheet pay period, as well as a submission date. Please note the submission date is the 5th of the following month. Once you have determined this is the correct timesheet pay period, you are ready to begin entering your hours. Please note that this is the first week of June only. To go to the next week, you click Next. You will see each week under your timesheet. Once you are ready to enter in your hours, you are going to click on Enter Hours on the correct date. For example, let's say I have a regular work week. I enter in the hours 8 a.m. till 4.30 p.m. for Monday, June 2nd. Once I click Save, you will see a drop-down that says Account Distribution. That means I worked 8.5 hours on June 2nd. If I would like to copy this to the rest of the week, you select Copy. When you are ready to copy your hours, you simply click on each day that you'd like to copy over those hours. For example, Let's say that on Tuesdays, I do not work these hours. After you have selected each day that you would like to copy hours to, select Copy. Next, you will view your timesheet. For the month of June, I have entered in 144 and a half hours. After you've copied over your regular work hours to the rest of the month, you are ready to submit for approval. Please note after you submit for approval, this sheet will go to your supervisor. If you need to fine tune one day that you left early, it is very easy to do so. For example, on Wednesday, June 4th, I did not work 8.5 hours. You simply click on the 8.5 and you change the time that you were in or out. Select Save and view your timesheet. Now my hours show that I only worked six hours on Wednesday, June 4th. Please review each week and make sure all of your hours are recorded and correct. After entering the correct hours each week, you are ready for submission. This concludes the tutorial about how to enter in your hours on mystetson.edu.